Hey guys, it is Jed and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had a really, really great week. I know this has been a bit delayed. I actually filmed this last time and I had an error with the sound that didn't get recorded. So I'm doing this again. So I apologize that it is a little bit late as a monthly favorites video, but I haven't done a monthly favorites for this entire year so far. So this is actually a sum up of January, February and March for Korean beauty favorites, for makeup, skin and hair, and some non-Korean products as well. So yeah, I'm really excited. I have a lot of products to get through as normal. And I also have an exciting giveaway for you guys. This is the biggest giveaway that I've ever done on my channel. So stay tuned, little Easter egg there. So yes, without further ado, let's begin with the favorites. So, okay, I'm gonna start off with skincare products first. I have a couple of new Korean skincare products that I have discovered and actually, there's actually a lot more than this that I've been loving, but it's just too much to show you guys all in one video. So I've decided to do a separate new Korean skincare products that I've found recently video in another one to show you guys if you guys are interested in that. But this brand here is something that I wanted to feature because I actually have been really liking it together with Oppa. And there's also a like baby care product that I've been really liking as well. So yes, that's a bit random, but I'll start off with the baby one. This is actually a Korean brand called Aquato. Aquato lotion and it's actually for baby skincare for dry and sensitive skin. It's got no artificial colorants, perfume or parabens, which is amazing. I love the lotion and the cream as well. William and I actually really like for some reason using baby skincare on our skin. It just feels so mild, gentle. It's not like too overly greasy or sticky. Really, really like it, but we haven't really found something that we've really liked as much as this. And we've been using this every night on our feet, all over our bodies. <laughs> so yeah, this is actually a really, really good baby product brand that I recommend not just for mothers who are looking for products for their kids, but if you are like me and William and you like using mild gentle stuff, it comes in this like pump bottle. It has a really like nice milky formula that's really easily blended in and the skin feels so soft and soothed afterwards without being greasy or sticky. It still has a slight like baby product smell to it, but it's really subtle. Um, I'm not sure if you guys remember a long time ago, I did this favorites where I talked about this brand called Lacvert and they had this like mild tub of um, body lotion, which was also very milky. I loved the texture of that. I loved how it's like really mild and has no fragrance. And I find that it's like like really similar to this except this is for babies but you can use it if you're an adult too so you guys know that I love my SK2 products and I have a lot of other like favorite cream brands like Belief, Sun 37, Solhwasu, um, Sun Laneige skincare etc but recently there have been so many new skincare names and brands that have been popping up everywhere that have really gentle formulas like oh, just so much variety, really, really good and effective, moisturizing, not way too expensive, like no fragrance. I have been in skincare heaven recently, guys. I really need to do that other video to show you guys because there's just too many to show you in this video. But I did want to mention one that I've been really liking using and it is the Pyeonggang Yul. It's really hard to say. Pyeonggang Yul. Pyeonggang Yul. Pyeonggang Yul. Pyeonggang Yul. Okay, it's so hard to say. So yeah, it is the Pyeonggang Yul Essence Toner moisture serum and moisture cream. I have been really liking this and if I didn't have so much other skincare already on my vanity table, I'd be using it every day, but I kind of have been like switching up here and there. Um, I really love this moisture serum. I don't really tend to use toners that much. My SK2 facial treatment essence is always like my second after the clearing lotion. So because of that, I don't really use the essence itself, but it has a really nice hydrating formula. I don't know how to explain it. It feels like snail products where it's extremely hydrating and it kind of like leaves a bit of texture to your skin. I really think that's a good essence toner. It's just that I have a lot of other ones that I've been using. I did want to just mention it for you guys, but I've been really liking this moisture serum and the moisture cream. They are just so natural, have no fragrance. It's just a really nice as I love milky sort of texture, pure, gentle, mild, basically contains everything that it needs to do its job without all of the unnecessary chemicals and stuff. Comes out in this dropper sort of application. It's like a very sort of serum-y type of lotion. It just blends in like heaven. It's so moisturizing. It's very sort of like watery as well. 
and it's really refreshing and nice. I think it's really, really great for if you don't want to do like 10 steps in your skincare routine, the moisture doesn't fly away with these products. So I feel like you can just use these three if you're a really busy person. I have also been really, really liking the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which I featured in my last video. I use this baby like there's no tomorrow. It is just my go-to ever since I found it. It comes with this little lip spatula sort of thing. And if you guys don't know what a lip sleeping mask is, it's basically like a sleeping mask for your face, but for your lips. A heavy duty revival of moisture and hydration. And I'm not sure if you guys know, but I actually suffer from really, really chapped lips. But ever since I've used this, I don't have that peeling going on anymore. I'm always finding myself biting my lips and peeling the little cracked things off, which is really, really bad. But ever since I used this, I actually realized the other day that I haven't got any of that crackling. It's so good. So yeah, I just usually just take it on the spatula. It's such a nice consistency that doesn't feel too thick. It doesn't feel like you've put on a layer of oil or grease or like Vaseline that's just sort of coating it. It actually feels really pleasant, like your skin can actually breathe through it, but it's still there when you wake up as well. I've actually been using this over my lip products during the day as well, as it adds a little bit of volume and gloss. Yes, hair sticks, but it's not too bad. Usually Laneige products, for some reason, I don't like their fragrance selections. I really don't like the smell, I'm sorry to say, but this lip sleeping mask smells really nice and everything about it I love. So I highly recommend this and I have been loving it. I think it's my new holy grail. I've actually been using this product. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you would be really familiar with this. It is my holy grail cleanser and I still love it. Ever since I worked at the body shop, I'm normal with a combination T-zone and this is perfect for me. If you have dry skin, I guess it could be a little bit drying. I'm not sure, I'm just guessing. But for me, it never feels like it's stripped my skin at all. It feels very refreshing. So I absolutely love it. It's probably like my 15th tube. But I also did come across a new cleanser. I know you guys are always asking me for something new, something Korean. So I'm happy that I actually found something that I really like and want to recommend as well. It is the Neogen Real Fresh Foam Blueberry Bio Cleanser. It is 100% naturally blue brewed. It's actually for sensitive skin. It's a foaming pump. People say not to use foaming things because it's meant to be really dry, but I find Find that this one is actually really gentle. It actually has like, I don't know what this is, but they're blueberries at the bottom. It doesn't have an explanation what it's doing there or how old it is, <laughs> but it is there at the bottom. And I think it's kind of like the concept of being brewed like tea. Particles inside solution are natural and safe, it says. That's all it says. So yes, there are natural blueberries down there. Anyways, I really like it. It is really gentle and it helps to do that second step of cleansing if you do double cleansing. I'm actually really picky with cleansers. If they feel like they leave a bit of soap scum or if they're too drying or stripping or just too harsh or even if the smell is just too strong I don't like it I never use it again but this one I actually really like enough to recommend to you guys and so at the moment I'm just tossing up between these two I leave one of these in my shower room and then this one in my current bathroom and from my memory Neogen is available in Sephora's it's not too hard to access I guess as a Korean brand this is really gonna be a long video because I just finished the skincare actually I do have another thing to mention from skincare. It is actually a tool that I've been using and I mentioned this in my Instagram and everyone was really interested what it was. My face has a tendency to bloat a lot. So it kind of like swells in the morning. My eyes are like puffy and my cheeks, which have so much fat already, are like really swollen. So it's really been a very stressful part of my life for my entire life, especially if I have an event to go to or like a photo shoot coming up. It's really stressful. So I've been doing like face massages, which really do help the blood circulation. But I have come across galvanic iron face massaging tools. And this is actually a Korean brand called Merby. And what this does is it not only helps to de-swell the face immediately, seriously, but not just that, it's meant to also tighten pores, tighten the skin, anti-age, um, help clear things and all these other different benefits I'm not really sure about but I'm mostly concerned about the swelling so I've been loving this this has been my absolute miracle for the past few months guys so yes Korean brand Merby it's a galvanic iron face massager it comes with a charging device and I basically just put it on this one of these last two settings 
and then and I've actually been using it together with the Pyongang Yul Moisture Serum. You're meant to use a serum or something that is high in nutrients. Coat your face so that it's like glossy to be able to be massaged without tugging. And I go from like the center of my face in an outwards motion up to my ear. And I also do my eyes from the center outwards, my temples just a bit on my forehead and just kind of focus it around here. And it has a little bit of this buzzing noise that you can hear, but it helps to immediately swell down and my jawline starts to show like immediately. I love this thing. I thank my mother-in-law for lending me hers because it is amazing. I even carried this with me to Taiwan for my event and it just helps my face to feel so settled even in the mornings. And very quickly, I promised you guys that I would update you on how I'm maintaining this pink in my hair. I am actually not dyeing my hair.